Well, good morning and Happy New Year's again from the Flying Can Ranch down here at Cedar Creek Lake, Texas. I did a little review, tabletop review, on the Seneca Aspen yesterday, a PCP with a built-in pump. So you can see I've got my normal range of targets here, little cans full of water, both cans are full of water, and my usual exploding pickle bottles. So let's set her down here. Let's make sure I got her zoomed up enough. And, uh... It's kind of shady, but we're going to see what we can do with that. And let's roll. Get the other one set up. I don't even know where that one went. Knocked everything over as I predicted it would. I want more water. There it is. So let's get this one set up. Let's keep rolling. Stuck my little bit right there in the ground. I'm gonna set that right there. All right, let's keep rolling. That was going in a mud hole there. I don't think that was it. 
Yeah, that's it. So, let's find our camera here. We'll dial it down a little bit. Are we still rolling? Yeah, kind of shady over here today. All right, so let's talk about what we got here. <laughs> Look at that right there, right off the top. Very good grouping. Ripped it right open and came right out the, whoops. Came right out the other side, really tore it open. Uh, this guy here was full of water. I got him once right there. It's a pretty tough can right here, one of these uh, seafoam cans. So, came right out the other side, 25 caliber, mind you. And uh, look at this guy. Good, good whack on that pickle bottle. Roll it around a little bit, tore it right up. This one here made a more precise right inside hole. You can see it right there. Came out the other side. Uh, you can see here, these are some of the cans I was working on when I was getting the scope worked up. So, we'll mander back over here a second. <laughs> well, I tell you, I tell you. I know, buddy, someone's re I know someone's going to be real happy seeing them pickle bottles take off, so. And my dogs are down there eating their treats. I went over eating the street. And I don't know what cat was here. Cat left. So there we go. So that was a good good view of the Ascan Seneca on the pickle bottles. I had to aim a, a little bit to the or the Seneca Aspen, I should say. I had to go uh, a little bit to the left, not much. Just the edge of the bottle. It's a pretty narrow target. Um, and just that time, that many shots, I had it pretty loaded up, and it just dropped my, dropped my gauge down to about there, I can probably give it about, mm, oh, 15 or 20 pumps, I'll have it back to normal. I was doing all that with the, uh, right there, the Hades, kind of like them. So, there you go, your PCP, I was going to show you yesterday that, this right here is your caulking lever. You just grab that and pull it straight back. Just like that. Put your pellet in a single shot tray. I haven't tried the clip yet. Shove it forward. And I'm good to go. I'll just remember I caulked that. And uh, I want to share that with you. That it's a, it's a good gun. Uh, one guy said that the, the stock sounded kind of hollow, and it does. But I, I'm with him. I think they built it that way to... Um, Keep some of the weight down on it, and I believe I gave the wrong weight. I believe it's eight pounds, not seven pounds. And you know, you'd be the judge. That looks like about probably about a 20, maybe a 20 inch barrel total on that. So, and I'm shooting from uh, back here to that box about 65, 65 feet, 65, 70. So, I hope that gives you a pretty good idea how accurate this gun is. Uh, I've said it before, I'll say it again. I'm very impressed with these Winchester skulls for the price. You really can't beat it. Nothing I forgot to mention, this does come with little swivel type sling points. One here and one up here at the front. So if you want to put a sling on it, you can do that. I forgot to mention that yesterday on my initial review. And uh, you get one, make sure you keep the pump nice and oiled, about every 300 wax. You want to put some oil in it. And, uh, 300 pumps I should say and and I think you'll enjoy it I haven't had any problems with it as of yet so just thought I'd throw it out to my viewers you can see what it does very very hard hitting and I'm pretty good distance I'm gonna I want to move my chair back further by my cooker and try it again later on today and see what I come up with see if it'll really reach out that far that get did be about twice the distance where I am now so, one of these days I'm going to get a thing and mark off yardage so I can come back here. But, you know, for game hunting or just general plinking, I think you'll enjoy it. And, uh, again, Happy New Year and thanks for watching. I, I uh, really appreciate everybody's support. And that's how we do it at the Fine Can Ranch. You all have a wonderful day.